good afternoon my dear students welcome to my class the subject for discussion today will be institutions facilitating international trade and today's topic will be about ecgc and i'm sure uh, you might all know what this uh, ecgc is all about so before uh, getting into the topic i would like to tell you some uh important information related to uh, ecgc see uh, the general insurance companies they provide cover against the risks of marine perils thefts fire accidents etc but there are certain distinct kinds of risks in export transactions which are not covered by the general insurance these risks are arising out of the failure of the foreign buyers to pay his insolvency exchange control import trade controls restriction regulation etc these risks are inherent in export trade and are particularly important when the exporter is selling the goods on credit terms and since the competition in the international market is more acute and markets are becoming buyers market so the seller has a weak bargaining power and therefore he is compelled to accept the terms dictated by the foreign buyer besides overseas buyers are considered as valued customers sought after by exporters of many countries winning them over is very difficult so because of this advantageous position the foreign buyers dictate and insist on among other things credit terms but in the 50s the exporters in india were exporting traditional commodities particularly the raw materials therefore they needed credit for shorter terms not exceeding 180 days but the emergence of exporters of capital goods involving longer credit terms to cover the gap and need for working capital requirements and the consequent risks involved made the government to realize the need for some suitable organization in this line therefore the export credit guarantee committee was set up by the government in 1956 the committee recommended the establishment of an export risk insurance corporation consequently the corporation was set up in 1957 as a wholly owned government company with its registered office at mumbai its authorized capital was rupees 5 crores and its paid up capital was rupees 50 lakhs the function of the eric was largely confined to the provision of insurance facility against certain commercial and political risks involved in export trade later in 1964 a study group reviewed the credit facilities available in our country for promoting india's export the result was the transformation of eric into export credit and guarantee corporation in 1964 risks covered by ecgc the corporation ensures a variety of risks the risks covered by the corporation can be broadly classified into two categories they are commercial risks and political risks commercial risks are risks which arise in the ordinary course of commercial transaction which may include the insolvency of the buyer the buyer's continued default to pay for the goods accepted by him or the failure of the buyer to accept the goods where it is proved that the non acceptance is not caused by the exporter's actions political risks are risks arise out of the government actions in the importing or exporting countries they include restrictions on remittances war revolution or civil disturbances new import licensing restrictions cancellation of export license additional handling transport and insurance charges 
due to the interruption or diversion of voyage which cannot be recovered from the buyer any other loss occurring outside india not normally insured by commercial insurers and which are beyond the control of the exporter or the importer there are certain risks which are not insured by the ecgc dispute in qualities causes inherent in the nature of the goods fluctuations in the exchange rate default of an exporter or his agent types of covers issued by ecgc there are four major groups standard policies specific policy financial guarantees and special schemes standard policies ecgc has designed four types of standard policy to provide cover for shipments made on short term credit shipment political risk policy to cover only political risk from the date of shipment shipment comprehensive risk policy to cover both commercial and political risk from the date of contract contract comprehensive risk policy to cover both commercial and political risk from the date of contract contract political risk policy to cover only political risk from the date of contract specific policy are designed to protect indian firms against the risk of not receiving payment in respect of exports on deferred payment services rendered to foreign parties and construction works including turnkey projects specific policies may take any of the following forms specific shipment comprehensive risk policy to cover both commercial and political risk at the post shipment stage specific shipment political risk policy to cover only political risk at the post shipment stage in case where the buyer is an overseas government or the payments are guaranteed by a government or by the banks or are made to associates specific contract comprehensive risk policy and spe specific contract political risk policy which provide cover from the date of contract for losses that may be sustained by an exporter at the pre shipment stage due to frustration of contract and cancellation of export license in addition to the cover provided by the shipment policy financial guarantees the corporation has evolved six kinds of financial guarantee schemes to help the exporters in raising pre shipment and post shipment finance required for the execution of firms orders these guarantees have been designed to encourage bankers to extend liberal credit for for producing packing and exporting goods and to extend other facilities the various types of guarantees provided by the ecgc are post shipment export credit guarantee this guarantee covers the post shipment finance given to an exporter by a banker through purchase negotiation or discount of an export bill against an order export finance guarantee this guarantee enables the banker to provide post shipment advances to exporters against their receivables in the form of cash assistance and duty drawbacks export production finance guarantee the prices of exported commodities are often lower than the domestic prices in order to enable and encourage the producers and exporters to export certain incentives are given by the government but it generally takes time for the manufacturer to get these incentives consequently the funds of the manufacturers gets blocked until the incentives are realized so with a view to overcome this kind of constraint the corporation has evolved a new scheme known as export production finance guarantee now the next one is export performance guarantee it has to the exporter has to furnish bank guarantee in the number of occasions connected in the course of his business the export performance guarantee given by the corporation 
enables the exporter to get bank guarantee whenever needed on easier terms. Transfer guarantee when a bank in India adds its confirmation to a foreign letter of credit, it binds itself to honor the drafts drawn by the beneficiary of the letter of credit without any recourse to him provided such drafts are drawn strictly in accordance with the terms of the letter of credit. The confirming bank will suffer a loss if the foreign bank fails to reimburse it with the amount paid to the exporter. And this may happen due to certain political risks such as war, civil war, transfer delays which may delay the transfer of funds to the banks in India. Export Finance Overseas Lending Guarantee If a bank financing an overseas project provides a foreign currency loan to the contractor, it can protect itself from the risk of non-payment by the contractor by obtaining Export Finance Overseas Lending Guarantee. Special Schemes uh, there are various special schemes offered by the ECGC. Insurance cover for buyers' credit and lines of credit. Financial institutions in India have started direct lending to buyers or financial institutions in developing countries to facilitate importing of goods from India. The financing can take the form of buyer's credit where the loan is extended to the buyer or line of credit when the loan is extended to the financial institution in the importing country. Transfer guarantee. When a bank in India adds its confirmation to a foreign letter of credit, it binds itself to honor the drafts drawn by the beneficiary of the letter of credit without any recourse to him, provided such drafts are strictly in accordance with the terms of the LC. Overseas Investment Insurance Capital participation of exporters in overseas projects has assumed increasing importance in recent years. ECGC has evolved a scheme to provide protection for any investment made by way of equity capital or united loans. The risk of war, expropriation and restriction on remittances are covered under the scheme. The period of cover dues not normally exceeds 15 years. Exchange Fluctuation Risk Cover Scheme ECGC cover risk arising out of exchange rate fluctuations. Two schemes are available. The Exchange Fluctuation Risk Bid Cover Scheme, which covers the exporter from the date of the bid. The Exchange Fluctuation Risk Contract Cover Scheme, which covers the exporters from the date of the contract up to 15 years after the award of the contract. Thank you.